uh, you know, it reminds me of a um, of a journey I had or an insight I had on a journey with Changa. Uh, you know, reportedly a, an invention of one of your countrymen out there in Australia, and um, I I uh, smoked it down by a river, a river that I often would visit when I wanted to do a Changa journey or really just need. <laughs> needed someone to talk to, uh, I would go down to the river. It's been a while actually, so it's a cool reminder. Um, but I went down there and I and I when I smoked it, I don't for the listeners uh who might not know, Changa is, you know, contains DMT. It has some other factors in there. Um, and DMT like DMT visuals are quite a common aspect of that experience. And so I I'm looking around and not only is the entire world around me just, you know, not just layered, it was as if coming out from the very essence of everything around me were these DMT visuals. It's not as though it were layered on top of or anything like that. I was seeing this fundamental or essential expression of reality, and it was these fractal patterns. I could even look upon the grass and the way that it was organized and how it was relative to the stones and to the water, all of which were like perfect, asymmetrical, psychedelic, fractal pattern. And it was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. I was just so overwhelmed by absolute beauty. And simultaneously, I was experiencing incredible amounts of terror, just raw, like high octane terror. And one of the things I've experienced with Chang is that there seems to be enough space to have a conversation with it, be it the something, you know, synergistic about the compound, or maybe I was talking to the tree from whence the DMT was extracted. But it kind of gave me the sense of like, well, you can't have one without the other. Um, and a lesson I've maybe had to be relearn <laughs> to be taught many, many times, but that's what comes up for me when I, when I uh, heard your story there. 